Now, when I tell you that being a Bleach fan is genuinely the best feeling in the entire world right now, I mean that with every word that I say. Like, the whole story of it is just crazy. In just the span of like a year, Bleach went from this dead series, completely disrespected by everyone on social media, absolutely no return for the anime in sight, a manga that ended five years ago on a very, very, very large set of rocky circumstances, to now having the confirmed return of the anime coming soon, as well as a new new arc for the manga that had initially ended its run five years ago from the release date of this new chapter. Like, that's just insane. Now, for those of you who somehow don't know, Bleach has just released a new manga chapter to celebrate the 20th anniversary of its release. It's going along with the whole new anime that's also been announced for its 20th anniversary, but still doesn't have any release date in sight right now. But at this point, I could care less about the anime right now because of the news that we're getting with the manga along with this chapter. As with the way the chapter went by and ended off, it basically, you know, it just confirms that we're getting a new arc of the Bleach manga. You know, the manga that ended five years ago. The manga that ended back in 2016. It's 2021 right now. This ended in 2016 and we're getting a new arc. Like when you think of just a 20th anniversary chapter, it's supposed to be like this fan service-y thing. Meet your favorite characters again. They're all grown up now. They have kids. It's like some extended epilogue type of thing. Maybe get some cool moments here or there, but it's just, you know, supposed to be for fun. No, 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 no. Kubo does not play like that and he showed it in this chapter, New Breaths from Hell. I know a lot of people haven't read it yet, so read it. Like, like read it right now because I, I just want to talk about this so much. Because if you couldn't tell already just by the name of the arc that I just said, we are getting an arc that will cover Hell. Something that we've been wanting to see in Bleach basically ever since the series began. Because we knew about Hell in Bleach almost from the very beginning in the first arc. I, I can't exactly name the exact moment, but there was a moment where like this hollow was pulled into the gates of hell and ever since then we've wanted hell content we got the soul society then you know afterwards you know some people might have thought that we would get it then nope instead we got the Arankars, Waco Mundo which I mean was amazing like that's that's literally my second favorite arc in Bleach besides the war arc speaking of which we thought we might get it after the Arankars you know no we get full bring and then we get the blood war and then the series is over no no arc involving hell basically with all that was going on in the story there was no room to include hell in the main storyline just there was no place or time to put it in because there were so many other other things we had to go through and we ended up going through those things and then oh no there was no place where we could include a hell arc now of course we did get the hellverse movie but you know that doesn't really count because first of all kubo had a lot of disappointment in that movie just goes to show that not all of everything he might have wanted in it was put into that movie he even said that he didn't do as much for the movie as he would have liked meaning that there was still so much more that could have been added to it but now he's going to get the chance to put that all into the story now which just has me so excited he He's not made a Bleach chapter in a very long time. Like, I've already said it so many times by now. Five years. That is a very, very, very long time to not make a chapter for a series. Of course, he has worked on Burn the Witch, which is in the same universe as Bleach, which, by the way, also fantastic that we're getting that too to go along with Bleach, both the manga and the anime. We're getting Bleach and Burn the Witch. My god, dude. So then what does this mean for Bleach's future? Well, it means we're getting so much more content than we expected. Just two years ago, we didn't expect any content at all. Like, we didn't expect anything to come. Now we are getting more anime content, a new manga arc, as well as season 2 of Burn the Witch, which is more than I could have ever asked for. And it's the most satisfying feeling ever, because as a Bleach fan, we, we had nothing for like a very long time. Bleach fans ha had nothing for so long. The anime ended its initial run back in 2012, and the manga ended in 2016. Ever since then, all we did was speculate 
when the anime was going to come back. We had no no thoughts about the manga coming back because, you know, it was confirmed over. It was already over. Kubo had health issues. Shonen Jump had basically rushed it to be ended soon. And that's what happened. Of course, we complained about it because no one wants their favorite series to end like that. But we knew that it was never going to come back. At least we thought so, because it's coming back now. All that time of defending Bleach on Twitter and in YouTube comments and Instagram comments, re really, it really paid off. It really paid off. This gives me a lot of satisfaction and hope as an anime fan, as someone who is a super fan of series like Bleach, Magi, Seraph of the End, and Noragami. All series, by the way, which, you know, n don't have a continuation to their anime, you know, besides Bleach now, but gives me hope for those ones. I, I, I probably shouldn't have hope for those ones but you know it gives me some and they're pushing bleach more right now than they ever did when it was running if it does well then that means we can get a lot more bleach content i'm talking games movies even more anime and manga content which is still like something we can't guarantee because more manga content which would mean more anime content would be up to kubo which he completely has all the rights to say no to that because he's done this for so long and we we didn't even expect this in the first place. All I'm saying is that if this goes right, the future holds a lot for Bleach. And even if it doesn't, there's still a lot to be excited about. Because for once, Bleach fans can expect something big. Because we're finally getting content that we've wanted for so long. And there's so much to expect from this arc that we will probably get to see. And I will I will cover that in a completely different video of what to expect from the new arc. This was just me talking about about my favorite manga of all time coming back, something I've been wanting to do since I decided to make videos. So for now, I'll end this off, I'll stop rambling on to you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. I'm out.